Welcome back, everybody. This is One Only Pop Culture Junkie. Thank you for tuning in. We're checking out a brand new subscription box today. That's right, brand new to the channel. We got our very first video games monthly box. This is a box of video games. This is a monthly subscription box where you get a box of video games where you get to keep the games, okay? This is an awesome setup. You get to choose what kind of games you like, what kind of games you want to receive, and what systems you want to receive them for. And then they compile that data and send you a box customized to your liking. So here's the options you have available if you have not ever heard of them or you're not familiar with them. What they have is instead of just a purchase one box and that's it, they give you an option where you can choose how many games you want to receive at the minimum. I'll say minimum for a reason. Now they have an option where you can do three, four, five, or even up to ten games in a box. Then really cool feature that they have is sometimes they'll do one up, two up, three up. What does that mean? That means you get a free game or two games or three or so they'll just throw in because they're just cool and they're nice and they maybe thought, hey, you know what? We're packing all these cool games. This guy really would like this other game we have. Let's throw one in. There you go. So you have that option as well. You don't get to choose that. That's just something they you have a chance to have. Now, what kind of games are we going to be receiving? You can have Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Game Gear, PlayStation 1 and 2, and GameCube. Oh, that is awesome. Can't wait to see some GameCube games coming out here. So, this is a, again, monthly box where you sign up and you get to choose what kind of games you like. So, if you like racing, puzzle, strategy, you get those. If you like action, shoot 'em ups, fighting, you get those. So... Make sure you fill out the survey if you do decide to get one of these. That way you know you're going to get something you like. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack it open. We're going to see what we got. Uh, very excited. This is my first time ever getting a box with them. I can't, can't wait to see what we got. Uh, now, one thing I will add real quick, as always, i got to add this real quick. Not only do you get to put what kind of games you want as far as the type and the system you want them for, but you do have the option where you can send in a wish list, and that's like your list of games. These are like your top... 50 games you want to receive. Don't send them just two, three, four games and expect those four to come in. Give them a big chunk list that's going to show all your wishes, you know, all the games you want to get. And maybe then they can at least pick one or two out of there to put into a box at times. So at least that way they're also making sure you're going to get a game you've been really, really wanting. All right, so let's open it up and see what we've got. All right, first of all, we got little cards in here. Uh, we have a little card first says, uh, we hope you enjoy your latest box. Please update your library on the website by adding these games. That's right, you, you can put all your inventory in there as well. They have that access available to where you can put all the games you already have. That way you don't get duplicates. You don't get any doubles or anything. Uh, and then uh, all updates to your gaming library must be made two days prior to the end of the month because that's when they start setting up for the next month. And our second card here is a one-up. Congratulations, you have received a free game. Thank you for being a monthly subscriber. So I got a free game already. So already going to have an additional game. Excellent. So let's set that there. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, look at this. We got a little Mario and Toad little sticker. Okay. They always throw a little little add-ons in here. That's always kind of cool. What, what do we have? Oh, look, we got a we got a Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario War. Yeah, Super Mario skateboard. That's cute. Okay. And. Uh, Oh, I see something else in here. We got a Mario dog tag. A little plastic dog tag. So that's cute. Little things to add in. That's just cool. Alright, let's see what our first game is. We've got Nintendo 64, Pilot Wing 64. Awesome. I don't have this one. Uh, and this was pretty fun. I remember playing this uh, when it came out uh, years ago. Uh, but very good condition, I'll say that. They do test their games, so they make sure they work. But very good condition. You know, sometimes you might get a game that's got a little scuffed up cover or old rental sticker or something, but I mean, come on, these games are like 20, you know, 25 years old sometimes. You can't expect them to be pristine in the box. It's not going to happen. Not for this price either. All right, a second game is Game Boy, Nint uh, Nintendo Game Boy, Tetris DX. Awesome. I love Tetris games, obviously, so that's going to be very fun. Let's see our... Next one is Sega Genesis 
Disney's Aladdin. This is a really cool game. Okay, I don't care who you are. I don't care how old you were when this came out. If you didn't play it, you, you missed out. This was a lot of fun. A lot of people probably were thinking, oh, it's Disney Aladdin kid game. No, this is a very challenging but very fun game. Uh, I've, I've played a lot of hours on that game. Very cool. All right. What else? Oh, yes. Okay, this is really cool. Double Dragon 2. Love the first one. And see, look, okay, got a little scuff on the cover. Oh, well, it happens. But Double Dragon 2, excellent game. Uh, I've got the original, and I remember playing the original original in the arcade. Uh, now I have the second one. This is, this is awesome. I don't have this. So very cool. All right, that's going to be fun. And finally, oh, my gosh. Okay, this is cool. Last box, I'm, or last one in the box. I'm taking the box out of here. But... And not only does it have, not only is it a really awesome game, they included a cover for it. So what is it? It is Castlevania II: Simon's Quest. I've got the first, I've got the third, and I've got the fourth on Super Nintendo. Now I've got the second one. This is awesome, and this is in excellent condition. There is not a mark or or anything written on it, stickers, nothing. These are, this is in awesome condition. This is not a cheap game either. I've been wanting to get it, but everywhere I look, uh, I don't know what it costs at your local store or my local store. It's at least a $20 or more video game uh, at minimum. So this is definitely worth the price already. So there we have it. That's my first video game monthly box, and I am not disappointed at all. We got two awesome sequels. Got an awesome Game Boy Color or Game Boy game, Sega N64. We got a variety here of game systems that we're gonna have to set up to, to play these games. So that's really cool. And uh, so we got a little cover. That's even better. So keep the game safe. There you have it, folks. That is the video game monthly for April 2016. That is my very first box. Will I get another one? I can't say I won't because this was a really good one. I can't wait to see what else is in store. So. Uh, hit me up with some comments and uh, leave me uh, some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. I uh, definitely want to hear your feedback. Uh, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, hit me a thumbs down. Uh, if you want to subscribe and uh, check out all my other unboxings and reviews, make sure you click that little subscribe button down there. Uh, and if you want to pick up a video game monthly box yourself, look below the video. There's the links available so you can check them out on their webpage. Also, follow them along on Facebook, Twitter, and such. And you can uh, check out what kind of new add-ons and events because, again, they always are adding new systems or new types of things they might be putting in their boxes. Uh, so stay tuned for that, too. Okay, thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I can't wait to play the games, and uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with them. So until next time, thank you again for watching. I am the one and only Pop Culture Junkie. Stay tuned for more, guys.